it looks at a particular aspect of his work um, because Bacon throughout his life, uh, throughout his career really, was fascinated by animals um, but also by, let's say, the animalistic within us as humans and he felt to some degree that there was only our civilization, our manners, our way we behave with each other is just a very thin veneer overlaying what are essentially sort of animalistic instincts that we also have as humans. He, you know, grew up uh, uh, surrounded by animals, sort of on a farm. He studied animals from early on in his life. Uh, and then he was also very much sort of impressed, of course, by the events of the First and Second World Wars, um, where he sort of, you know, experienced the periods living up to these wars and then the aftermath and the unbelievable degrees of violence and cruelty also humans are capable of that, of course, come to the fore. I think there's a good spread of works by Bacon here and we see that there's a lot of different uh, phases of his life and some works I'd never seen before and I've seen a lot of Francis Bacon works so it's great to see a lot of things that you wouldn't normally see and loans from the US that wouldn't normally leave those shores so it's great to see such a wide variety of his pieces.